Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and I hope you're all having a lovely weekend and have the coziest Sunday ever. So today, boys and girls, I'm back with a thrifting video and these are one of my favourite videos to film. I love charity shopping slash thrifting in America, thrifting here, charity shop shopping. Before we get into this video, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I don't know how you clicked on this video, but thank you so much for being here and I hope you want to stick around. So let's get into showing you what I picked up. <laughs> Last weekend, Jed and I headed down to Eastern Thrift Store. They had one of their £1 sales on, so everything I picked up was £1. So I got six items for £1, which is obviously crazy. But I will say, I used to go when I was like in year 10, and unfortunately, they're just it's just not as good it used to be so much better it's moved from one side of the road to the other and it's so small like you couldn't really move i did want to actually like do a whole separate vlog but it was so tiny it just was not possible there was like crates of like clothes that you couldn't even look through because they were just piled up yeah we're in a house when i'm cleaning up Yeah, with names on, names on. The, 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 that football kits and stuff that had names, names on. on. Yeah. Okay, so we'll start with a t-shirt. I did actually end up picking up one branded t-shirt. So basically, they have like the one pound side and then on this side, they have all like the reduced vintage branded stuff. So Adidas Champion. All of that kind of stuff. Okay, so the first top I got is this Adidas t-shirt. It's like this sagey kind of green t-shirt and it's got like cream stripes here. Adidas logo on the front. The only thing is with this top, it has like a little moth hole at the back there. I don't know if you can even see that. Yeah, you can, you can see it there. It doesn't really bother me too much because I'm probably, if I was to wear this, I'd probably wear it like under like a jacket or something anyway or like around the house. But I have longer hair anyway, so it's going to cover the back of that hole. So, yeah, it's not a biggest deal. And for £1 for an Adidas top, I thought it was quite good. I'm surprised it was actually still on the rail because, like I said, we got there like half an hour later. Most of the people there were after the branded stuff. So they were like in the branded section. So maybe that's why it's still there because they didn't bother looking in the £1 section. What size is this top? Ooh, it is an extra large. I like my t-shirts oversized. But yeah, I just thought even if I don't actually wear it out, which I probably will, Granted, it does need an iron. But yeah, I'd probably wear this like tucked into some jeans or joggers with like a jacket over the top just for like a really chill outfit. But yeah, I really like the colour of this one. So yeah, that is the first thing I picked up. It actually was the first thing I picked up when I went in there. I might as well show all these at once. I got three of them. I just was kind of in a mindset of shirts. There was loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of like shirts with names on. Luckily, I found three shirts without any names on. So when... I was buying these shirts, I kind of like had a vision of like spring, summer and because they were only a pound I was like, do I want to pick up three? So the first one I got is this black one. These all, okay, bye. These all need an iron as well. They've literally just come out of the wall. The first one is just a plain black shirt. These are not branded. This just says premium uniforms. So yeah, I'm guessing this was someone's uniform. Like a lot of the stuff wasn't there. A lot of it was someone's old uniform. I'll probably wear this undone with some jeans and then like a little crop underneath or with shorts with a crop underneath spring so summer depending when jed also suggested wearing this done up with like some black flared trousers i don't have any black flared trousers so i feel like it would look quite good okay so we just had another suggestion from jed he's like sitting on the bed over there done up a long white sleeve underneath this is a black shirt as jed suggested it with like i would probably wear white like long sleeve t-shirt myself not with a jumper but jed said he likes these big puffy arms but yeah, I quite like the oversizedness of it. I'll show you. Let me pan you down. It's quite oversized on me. It is a size large, but I quite like it. I quite like the oversized look. He was a skater boy. She said to you later, boy. I actually could wear this as like maybe an autumn piece, not winter, because it's a bit chilly right now. I don't think I could go out the house without a cold. A cold? <laughs> a, co a coat? I don't think I could go out the house without a coat. But I feel like in like autumn, with something underneath, I can get three seasons out of it instead of two the second shirt i got is this minty kind of shirt this one is nowhere near as oversized as the other one but it kind of reminds me of a bit like military kind of with these what do you call these i quite like the color of this they had some other ones that were more oversized in this color but 
guess what they had on them? Name tags. Okay, so obviously I would not wear this shirt with this white jumper underneath, but I've just put it on to show you like where it comes down to on me. So this is where this like minty green one comes down to me. Again, it's actually quite a nice length. So yeah, this one I would wear, like I said before, with the other shirt undone, probably with like a little top underneath. When I say like a little top, I mean like a little like crop top or bralette, something like that. The last shirt I got is a grey one. So basically I saw this girl that I follow on Instagram and she like sells clothes and she basically had like this really nice like purple shirt with these purple, oh god where are the shorts from? But they were like sports shorts so I have a grey, I don't think the grey is going to match at all in this but that was like my vision with these kind of shirts so like with the black one I can get like kind of similar kind of black shorts but she had like sports shorts on and then with the purple shirt and it looked so cool um so yeah that's what i kind of like had in my head so yeah i got a gray one because i thought i could get like some gray shorts and like match it up this one again is a lot more oversized than the other one this is from big bits and this is like some uniform supplier in america and it's a si size large 16 to 16 and a half oh it's from canada this one's not american it's from canada so this is this gray colored one on it looks a lot bigger like this way and like that way because obviously i've got a big jumper on underneath as you can see this one is a lot longer i look like a skater but this one's got like actual buttons rather than poppers and they're like a dark shade of gray and then it's got two pockets on either side i pretty much got all these shirts for the same reason to wear undone that was like what i was envisioning when i was buying these shirts and i was obviously inspired by that girl that i said next thing i got was from those crates i was talking about where like all the clothes are piled up i literally was like pulling bits out of it and like throwing it back on top and it was kind of falling down a bit but gotta do what i gotta do okay, from in there i saw this and i was like mm, quite like that but i don't know if i'm gonna keep it for myself it is a little bit small i think if it was a bit more oversized then i'd prefer it but yeah it is just this i don't know what you would even call this like sherpa waistcoat yeah it's quite nice i might give it to my mum to sell probably will she sold some of my stuff from when i went last time like she sold one of the jackets i got for a pound for 25 pounds it's not like real wool or anything like that i think it is just yeah it's polyester it's got like this little very bit along here and then this piping down the middle it just doesn't come around far enough but i feel like this jumper isn't the best thing to try it on with i thought for a pound i'd pick it up because i thought it was quite cute and i feel like someone out there will love this i quite like it on but i just if it was bigger i think i'd like it more but because it is quite small on me and i've got quite big boobs as well so that doesn't help it just doesn't i just yeah it just doesn't look right and this is from Audrey ton someone a bit more petite than me this would look really nice on it's just a bit small which is a bit of a shame but it looks small when i picked it up anyway but i just really like these pockets so i think they're quite cute now the last and final thing like i said that is like the only really like wintry thing that i got but i'm not keeping up for myself it was a winter sale and it wasn't really that much winter stuff there but like a lot of it was shit pretty much like a lot of it was shit but that's the thing like a, when you go to these things a lot of them are shit you just have to like look through but the last and final thing that i picked up is another t-shirt so if you saw Oh, I think it was two videos ago. I had one of Jed's t-shirts on that I got in a charity shop. It's like a blue one. It says sink kits in it. This is very, very similar. I don't know why I just seem to be drawn to these t-shirts that have places on. I think they're quite cool. But this one is Boca Raton. Boca Raton. Um, not really too sure. But yeah, I thought the colour was really nice. It's got like these little palm trees on it. It's kind of like an off-white, like creamy colour. And I think that looks really nice with the brown and the green. I think this is my favourite purchase that I got that day. So that is everything I picked up on this thrifting trip. So yeah, I got six items for six pounds, which obviously is really good. But yeah, only go if you're in the area because you might be disappointed. Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure to turn on my bell notifications so you don't look, so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Make sure to check out my Instagram. My username is just sorrowwj, exactly the same as my YouTube. If you want to see clothes styled and stuff on there. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.